Hi everybody, it's Fran Ankin with parkbench.com of Amherstburg. We are here with Christian Janice of Simply Clothes, and we are excited to learn all about him today. Thank you for coming out today in the rain, sir. Yeah, thanks for having me. You're welcome. It. You are very welcome. Okay, so we're going to get right to the questions because he's a busy guy. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, can you describe your business to us a little bit? Okay, yeah, so Simply Clothes. It actually, it's evolving right now, but we originally started as just a real estate law firm. Uh -huh. So long story short, what happened was COVID happened. And uh -huh. then that was allowing us to do real estate closings virtually. And you could never do that before. You could never sign certain documents online. So I knew that was going to be a game changer. So uh -huh. I decided to leave the law firm that I was working at. And I said to my wife, I will uh, do this better and I'll do it on my own. And I'll be one of the first ones to do it. Now, obviously, a lot of people are coming on board, so we're trying to shift into other markets. But primarily what we do is real estate law, and we do anything from buying, selling, or refinancing a home. Wow. Good for you for seeing that opportunity. Yeah. And good for your wife for just, like, supporting you like that in that yeah. leap. Yeah, it was a little scary <laughs> at first, but honestly, like, the, we knew it was a pretty – we both knew it was a pretty big change because yeah. all of the law firms were super archaic, and that actually it happened in a lot of industries where COVID – if you're going to look at any kind of positive side of COVID, yep. it, it kind of moved everyone to adopting technology. So necessity is a mother of invention, right? Yeah. Like you so get there. now all of a sudden you can do a real estate closing without having to, you know, take time off work. Uh, you can do after hours. You can do it during your lunch meeting. You can literally do it at home, right? Yeah. That is very cool. Yeah. So that means you serve Amherstburg and surrounding areas. Yeah, we do anywhere in Ontario. Obviously, okay. our focus is on Windsor, Essex and yeah. Amherstburg. Um, but we can do anywhere in Ontario. As long as the property is located in Ontario, we can do it. Okay. So that brings up a couple of questions. Okay. So number one, why did you choose law and why did you choose real estate law? So I don't have a good answer as to why I chose law. I originally chose law because it sounded good. Okay. I went to law school. I actually originally wanted to be a corporate lawyer and I was do. I worked at a corporate firm and then it was actually super boring. Yeah. Um, and one thing I really hated about it was that you had to bill by the hour. Uh -huh. I didn't like that. It just... I don't know. When I'm talking to people, I don't. I, I want to get to know them. I want to have a conversation with them. I want to build a rapport. Yeah. Um, but you're billing by the hour, so you can't always do that. So the clock's ticking in the background, and you're really not getting to know somebody. Yeah, and it just felt like I was just constantly docketing my time, which just uh -huh. means like recording my time. So every single email, every single phone call, and the system I just felt is kind of broken, and yeah. I didn't have a solution as to how to fix it. Yeah. Um, but real estate, it's a flat rate. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. Some deals yeah. are super simple. Um, you know, they don't require a whole lot of handholding. Somebody yeah. may have bought and sold multiple times. So it's like, okay, great. This yeah. is, we're just going to go right through the motions. Um, some require a lot more attention, but you don't have to feel the pressure of every single second, second. has to be built. Okay. So the, I'm going to skip around the questions, but so given that some are like super easy and some are handholding, for the people out there, what is, when you say a close, like what does that mean to you or to a buyer or seller? What's a close? Yeah, actually, good good question because the term gets thrown around right. a lot by yeah, real but estate. what does it really mean? Yeah, yeah, so when you buy or sell a house, you sign paperwork to buy or sell the house, and that's not the date that you get the house. That's not the date that you exchange funds. So the closing is basically the time between the day that you sign the paperwork and the day that you actually take possession of the house. So in between that, you know, we'll deal with if you're buying for, let's just use buying as an example. Um, we'll deal with your mortgage lender, your home insurer, uh, helping you set up your utilities, getting the paperwork ready, signing yeah. with you, going through the final numbers, like to make sure that you have everything in terms of funding. Okay. Um, so that's the closing. And then the actual closing is once you have all the documents signed, you have the money, you have the home insurance, you have everything that you need. Yeah. You actually exchange funds with the other lawyer. Um, keys are a little bit up in the air these days, but yeah. you get the keys and you move in. Yeah. So I've had it happen where people don't understand that the day of the close, it's still not your house yeah. until the paperwork is done. Do you got that people? Yeah. 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 Cause I've had somebody be like, Oh, well, I'll just drop my stuff off there, even though it's running late. But yeah. it's like, it's not your home until he says so. It happens right? all the time. So when on the day of closing, if we, if most people have a mortgage, right? So yeah. we do have a couple of clients that are, that may be like downsizing and they yeah. don't have a mortgage. Um, but we get the mortgage funds on the day of closing. They don't yeah. give it out early because they're charging interest on it. So they yeah. can't give it out a day or two mm -hmm. early. So we get it the morning of, yeah. uh, it differs per bank. Once we get the money, we'll have already signed with you as a yeah. buyer and received the rest of the money that you need to bring. Um, 
and then we pull that together, give it to the other lawyer, yeah, exchange documents, make sure everything looks good, and then we go onto the the land registry system. So it's all online now. Yeah. We used to have to go to a physical, physical. office. You don't have to do that anymore. So yeah. you go online, you <laughs> click a button. It's not as exciting yeah. anymore, but yeah. um, there's a little bit of a process. So it definitely takes a while. Yeah. Um, depends on when you get the money. Depends on how busy the other lawyer is. Depends on how busy you are. Yeah. Like for example, if I have like I can sign off in advance, but if somebody is on lunch break, for example, yep. they're not going to know. Oh, I'm going to wait around until the funds come in. So yeah, you don't know exactly what time you're going to get in. Yeah, I did a close and the other party's lawyer was in the middle of moving offices. Yeah. So it was just a little chaotic and everything got done, but it's just timing. Sometimes and, you can't even control it. Like sometimes yeah. the bank, uh, like they're really pushing for wire transfers to be used and I hate wire transfers, but yeah. um, they're putting certified checks, which are not supposed to be put on hold because they're certified meaning yeah. they've confirmed that the funds are there. Yeah. They're putting them on hold. So you'll send a wire and sometimes they go through in 15 minutes and sometimes they go through in four yeah. hours. Like it just depends. So the lesson is just be prepared and don't be over eager. I know that's hard, but oh, yeah. until you get the keys, it doesn't count, really. We try to set expectations um, with clients. Like We try to let them know ahead of time because yeah. a lot of people will say, oh, I have movers coming here at nine and I'll try to tell them, yeah. you know, don't. I honestly wouldn't take the day off work yep. or if you are, take a half day because there's not really. There's not you can do. And sometimes it's what we call like there's a chain there where like somebody's selling to yeah. buy, to sell, to buy. And so you're waiting for other people in line. So, exactly. okay. so that begets the question, have you ever had like a really odd request during a close or during a tra like a real estate transaction? I mean, we don't get anything super odd, but I do, we do get, so what will happen is we help with closing the deal. So you yeah. bought the house, we're going to help you finish the purchase. You know, I, people will ask us, can you set up the utilities for us? Can yeah. you, you know, set up the property tax payments for us. And we try our best to try and help them, but they'll ask us to do things that like are everything. Like, yeah. Like <laughs> they'll, they'll say like, Oh, like, can you make sure that I get the keys at this time? And it's like, we don't have any control over that. Like yeah. We just talked about, right. Yeah. Um, so we try to help them as much as we can, but people do ask us some pretty crazy, crazy. things. Like, can I, like they'll call us after the, the deal is done. And I mean, I understand they don't do it every day. So it's, it's totally innocent, but they'll be like, I want to change my mortgage payments from monthly payments to buy weekly yeah. and then we'll have to say well we're like we've already done everything we don't have yeah. any communication with the lender yeah. you have to call them yourself the thing is people there's certain things that only the person can do there's certain things that only the seller can do or only the mortgage person can do or only the lawyer can do right yeah actually the what happens is we used to do the utilities but now we can't like so for sellers we used to send a letter to, to cancel the utilities but with privacy laws yep. are significantly uh, more robust than they were back in the 80s. Yeah. So now you can't do it. They will not allow you to cancel somebody else's account yeah. without speaking to them. I just helped somebody move and it was super regulated and we need to talk to them and get them on the phone, which is understandable because yeah, it's utilities. Sense. You can really mess with somebody. We don't want that. Yeah. Okay. So what has surprised you most about owning your own business? <laughs> how much work it is i mean it, it's, real estate is is like being a real estate agent is very yeah. similar as well because you're, you're essentially running your own business mm -hmm. um i used to you know pe when you watch the tv shows you'd hear about how everybody like they don't sleep i mean i do sleep but yeah you'll hear about how they have to do so much work and i'm always wondering like well, what are they working on all day but honestly it, it never ends and the part that i found is the most complicated is just Every issue is basically your issue yes. and it's really yeah. stressful at times. You are the chief. Um, I used to work in the restaurant business and I had a boss who used to say, you are the chief plumber, chief cook, yeah. chief sidewalk scraper, chief everything. It, it all lands on you. Right? Yeah. And I like law and yeah. but I'm dealing like a lot of stuff that I deal with is, is not necessarily. It's business related. Yeah, yeah. So it's trying to get in the swing of things and making sure that, you know, like HR is dealt yeah. with, um, staffing. Like, there's just so many different things. things. It's just moving parts to running a business. Yeah. Like when I worked at another law firm, I, I didn't really yeah, they took care, care of who, who was hired, who was fired. <laughs> yeah. like it just, it is what it, it is. But now that matters because it represents you, right? Yeah. Okay. Which brings me to why Amherstburg? So actually, uh, why I came to Amherstburg was the banking. It's actually a secret for real estate, but don't tell any other lawyers. Um, <laughs> So you have CIBC right there, uh, BMO right there, TD right there, Scotia right there. So the only bank that you actually have to get into a vehicle for is RBC and WFCU. Yeah. So in terms of closing, when I first started, um, I wanted to like make it simple. That's where the name yeah. Simply Close came from. So right. we can, if I have a like another lawyer that banks at CIBC, I can go to Scotia and then go to, go right go to CIBC and I can close super quickly. 
So it comes down to location, location, location. Yeah. And <laughs> right. honestly, I just, I really like Gainsbourg. Yeah. It's uh, like, I like the downtown. I like the park down there. It's yeah. a beautiful area. It's a beautiful area. Have you seen some significant change? How long have you been here exactly? Uh, we started in 2021 and I've been here ever since. Okay. Have you seen changes? Yeah. I mean, they've done a lot just over like, uh, yeah. On Sandwich Street over there, mm-hmm. like they've done quite a bit in terms of like new restaurants. Uh, I know it's one of your questions. So yeah, I won't get to I was it, but say, yeah. they've done a lot of new restaurants. Um, I've even just seen like some condo developments. Yeah. Uh, you're starting to see a lot of yeah. like I mean they have a Dairy Queen, over there. Yeah. Dairy Queen in Amherstburg. It's insane. There might be a day when we have two Tim Hortons people. Yeah, that might come. Yeah, how long have <laughs> you been here? Um, I actually don't live here. I live in Windsor. I have friends that live here, okay. and I've been coming up here for. I think her daughter's 16, so 16, 17 years. I used years. to come to Amherstburg, like not often, but yeah. before like I was working here, I used to come here because it was just like, it was just, it was just really cool. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's a beautiful town. And I think it's really nice to see what's happening and the changes and all the, the investments and things that are happening. Yeah. So it's a very exciting time to be in yeah. Amherstburg. Actually, so that will, that brings me to what is your favorite restaurant? So <laughs> this is, I know you sent the questions yeah. ahead of time. So I have two. So. Um, the Artisan Grill is my favorite sit-down See, restaurant, right, but yeah. in terms of which restaurant do I go to the most, it's yeah. definitely guac. I don't know if you've been really? to guac. No, I haven't yet. Okay, it's like Mexican bowls. They're fantastic. And the guy that owns the guac in Amherstburg, stand-up guy. Top notch. Yeah. What's his name? I don't know his name, but I go in there like <laughs> okay. four or five times a week, and okay. I just we just <laughs> we don't even need to know each other's name. We yeah, just have a quick matter. conversation, and we yeah. just in and out. Okay, shout out to the guy who owns guac. <laughs> This is Christian. So you get names next time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think that wraps up ev- almost all of them. Oh, what do you do besides work? So Not much because you're always working. I, I, yeah, actually, no, I just love like dealing with the business side of things, yeah. but I do run quite a bit. Oh, okay. Um, so I just did the Detroit Free Press last year. Very cool. Um, so I do run quite a bit. That's pretty much it though. Run, okay. So hang you out get, with people. So you nothing. get to see the whole city when you run. Yeah, I love yeah. that's actually one of the things that I like about running is that you, especially when you go to new places, you can yeah. see everything. My wife's always like, How do you know all these things? And I'm like, Well, it's because when you're running, you're bored, so you're paying attention to, you're looking at everything. to not think yeah. about the fact that you're running. So I just like because I'll be like, even when I run now, I'll be like, Oh yeah, I can't run this back then. Yeah. She's like, You're you're a creep. <laughs> and I'm like, I just you're bored, you're trying no, to get no. distracted. I, I walk a lot, I walk a lot, and I look at everything. You look at who's who's selling what, who moved, what they did to their yeah. place, what development is part of being the community right you just don't want to think about the pain running, no. <laughs> so you're just like, okay. listen i can't Anything run a block so you get it you get yeah. it okay i want to thank you for the time especially because i know you can't tell guys but it is freezing rain out and it is yeah. the end of january and this man showed up in the freezing rain so i want to say thank you very much thanks and if you need any real estate or law advice or anything christian at simply close will tag it underneath and you'll be able to give him a call if you need thanks, thanks. again for your time thanks appreciate for it me.